the more Indigenous voices we have in the House of Commons, the more attention will be paid to Indigenous issues. And there may be higher chances of that happening in the federal election, with a record number of Indigenous candidates. According to the Canadian press, there are at least 75 candidates this year, up from 62 in 2019, hoping to get elected on September 20th. Lorraine Reckmans, a candidate in a Southern Ontario riding, says this is a step forward. We've heard how difficult it is to be Indigenous person inside the political system. I think if we keep showing up, it's a positive message that we don't give up. Leah Gazan, another Indigenous candidate up for re-election in Winnipeg Centre, says it's important to look into each candidate's campaign. Representation certainly matters. Even though we're all Indigenous, we come from diverse backgrounds and diverse belief systems. Uh, you know, so I think in addition to looking at Indigenous candidates, you need to look at what parties are offering. Indigenous instructor Chadwick Cowie agrees. Being an Indigenous MP does not necessarily mean you're a voice for all Indigenous peoples um, and that sometimes when you're making decisions you're also making decisions based on your riding. Cowie says it's also unfair to classify all Indigenous people under a blanket term. It's always done in numbers. It's lumping all First Nation, Inuit and Métis together. It's still 50 some different nations and confederacies so how do you do that representation if you're going by population? He says First Nation, Inuit and Métis often have different values. They're not always necessarily in line with each other in regards to how to go forward. But Cowie says having more candidates helps encourage people from their communities to run and vote. Being able to see that there has to be someone on the inside being able to make change from it with, from within it. Professor Veldon Coburn says many Indigenous people give in and get involved in a system that hasn't always been kind to them. It's really the only sort of uh, way out so that they have to work with the system. Coburn says it's great to see more Indigenous representation, but it's important to remember there are many factors like who the governing party is, their own party pillars, and riding priorities which may affect the amount of change they bring for Indigenous communities. It can also lead to a great deal of disappointment because they might have their hopes very high for the change. Charmaine Samani, Global News.